Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with the Pastor. We're in the book of Acts. We're in Paul and Barnabas' first missionary journey. Uh, we're going to see a very interesting story. Remember, they're in the Galatian area, which would be modern day Turkey. Uh, they uh, go to a place and there are a lot of believers, but then there's a group that doesn't like them there. And so they run them out. And this seems to be the pattern of wherever Paul goes. Is that it seems like that there's a lot of people excited to hear the message of Jesus Christ. A lot of believers, but it seems like those who don't want to believe are very strong, very emphatic to the point to where they want to jail him, kill him, beat him up. And that will be no different than where he will be today. We'll start in verse 8. He's left the uh, Antioch uh, in the Galatian area. You know, there's another Antioch in Syria where their headquarters is. And they've come to Lyst Lystra. And it says in Lystra there sat a man crippled in, in his feet who was lame from birth and had never walked. He listened to Paul as he, as he was speaking. Paul looked directly at him saw that he had faith to be healed and called out, Stand up on your feet. At that, the man jumped up and began to walk. So there's Paul speaking, he's teaching, teaching about Jesus. There's a man there who's been crippled from birth and he just says, and he looks at him and says, Man, this guy's got enough faith to, to walk. So he has him stand up and walk. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they shouted in the Laconian language. They had their own language there. Now, most of the places probably spoke Greek. Uh, this would have been in a very Greek Gentile area. Uh, but they, they also had their own native language of which Paul and Barnabas would not have known. And this is what they're saying. The gods have come down to us in human form. Barnabas they called Zeus, and Paul they called Hermes because he was the chief speaker. So they thought that they were gods that had come down, and that was one of their beliefs, that sometimes the gods come down in human form and walk among them. And that's what uh, they believed had happened. They believed that Barnabas was Zeus, and they thought Paul was Hermes because he was a speaker. Now, that's something we need to take note of. Um, Paul was the speaker between Paul and Barnabas. Uh, he's the one who did it. The priest of Zeus, whose temple was just outside the city, brought bulls and wreaths to the city gates because he and the crowd wanted to offer sacrifices to them. So the priest of Zeus came out. They had a temple to Zeus apparently there, and they brought <clears throat> offerings to them. But when the apostles, Barnabas and Paul, heard of this, they tore their clothes. Tearing the clothes back then was a way of showing tremendous grief, and rushed out into the crowd shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We too are only men, human like you. We are bringing you good news, telling you to turn from these worthless things to the living God, who made heaven and earth and sea and everything in them. And so I said, we're not gods. Barnabas not Zeus. I'm not Hermes. We're just men like you. We've just come to tell you. In fact, we've come to tell you to turn away from this kind of nonsense. Uh, in the past, he let all nations go their own way, yet he has uh, not left himself without testimony. He has shown kindness by giving you rain from heaven, crops in their season. He provides you with plenty of food and fills your hearts with joy. Even with these words, they had difficulty keeping the crowd from sacrificing to them. So even though they told them, hey, we're not gods, we've come here to give testimony, uh, they still wanted to do it. But then some Jews came from Antioch and Iconium and won the crowd over. So some came and, and started talking badly about Paul and Barnabas. Look what they did. They stoned Paul and dragged him outside the city thinking he was dead. So they literally stoned Paul. 
and they drug him out thinking he was dead, took him outside the city. But after the disciples had gathered around him, he got up and went back into the city. The next day, he and Barnabas left for Derby. So they had stoned him, thought they had killed him, dragged him out. And uh, then the disciples come around him. Paul gets up and walks back in uh, and, and then leaves the next day. Uh, a very interesting passage where they thought that they were God's or not. It's amazing to me the fickleness of a crowd, though, how that they were very enthralled, ready to sacrifice to them as gods, uh, but not wanting to hear that they weren't gods. They were just there to give testimony for God and how they could go from wanting to worship them then to stone them. Uh, and that's the kind of, kind of society we live in today. People, the crowds can change. Uh, that's why you've got to be grounded in the truth. And it's interesting to me today how that we probably, I think, have some of the strongest believers I've seen since I've been in ministry. People more dedicated to the Lord. I see those who are dedicated to the Lord are really dedicated. But I also see more people who are angry with those of us who call ourselves Christians. I don't understand it. I don't understand why trying to live a good life, trying to believe in Jesus Christ and live for him and do the things he taught uh, with the promise of heaven and having somebody die for your sins would make somebody so angry, but it does. And we need to understand that. We need to understand that we live in that kind of society today. But it's okay. Um, they've been there before. And, uh, and so we'll be okay too. Well, I hope you have a good day. And go and live your faith before others. And I'll see you tomorrow.